I'm struggling with these little nails. They're not even long. Because <laughs> I don't wear stuff like this in my hand. This is purely for my daughter. You know, it's love. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I just received this in an influencer box and that is free in case you're not familiar with influencer. It's kind of a website that you go on or an app that you can go on and do surveys and they send you products to do reviews on for the brands. Typically, I get a lot of snacks on there and stuff like that for my husband and the kids because I have children. They base it on surveys about yourself, your family, and where you live. But they recently just sent me this and I was really excited. I wasn't going to try it and wasn't going to buy it because it's supposed to be like a It Cosmetics CC Cream dupe. And I've tried this It Cosmetics and I did not like it because of the... Uh, sunscreen in it it gave me like a gray kind of look to my skin so I was not planning to pick this up so I was kind of excited that they sent it to me to review um, if you're new to my channel my name is Samantha I'm a mom of three and I work full-time I'm a makeup enthusiast and I don't take myself too seriously and neither should you <laughs> So I figured since I was going to try this out, and they sent me, just so you know, uh, medium 355W is the shade. Super blinding. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, that I would pull out all my e.l.f. products, and we'll try to make this as much of a full face of e.l.f. as possible. The only thing that I kind of don't have is like a true bronzer. I do have this contour um, kit, so we're going to try that as a bronzer and as you can see I typically use these two shades if this doesn't do it for me I'm going to use a powder bronzer and I chose the wet and wild and sunset strip tees because price wise I think it's pretty comparable to elf products and I wanted to keep it in that range and then the same went for mascara I don't have an elf mascara because I didn't like any of the ones that I've tried from them. So I'm going to use my Milani. And yeah, let's get started. Oh, primer was the other thing I don't have. I had the e.l.f. Mineral Primer, the white one. And I really liked that one. But I gave it to my sister just because I had way too much stuff. And I needed to downsize my collection. So we're going to use the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I've only used this maybe four or five times. So I don't have like 100% feelings about it. If you like my little nails, this is a Mommy and Me kit from Kiss. And I'll insert a picture right here so you can see what the box looked like. But we went to Walmart to pick up some stuff. And of course, you know, I got to walk through the <laughs> makeup section to see what's there and if they have anything new. And my daughter saw this little nail kit and was like... We need to do this so these are just like press-ons or whatever so who knows how long they'll last I can't even remember the last time I had press-ons I was probably her age she's five <laughs> so that primer doesn't do too much it does leave your skin just a slight tackiness it has like a pearl in it but I don't really see it that much on the skin um, offhand so yeah now we're gonna go into this and I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand. And just so you know, I have these swatches here because I have a bunch of the e.l.f. concealers. And I was trying to see which one matched me because, you know, I have my summer shade and my winter shade one. So if you're curious, that's what that is. Making sure I have the right stuff. It's pretty thick. Like, that is not going anywhere. And it says it comes with 1.05 ounces. This is the shade. It actually looks pretty good. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. sponge to apply this. That has a lot of color to it. More than I was expecting. But it blends in really, really nice. That was like about a pump and a half. 
it looks really <laughs> surprisingly pretty and I don't see any weird color to my skin so I just did another full pump on my hand and I'm gonna stop putting the mirror in front of the freaking camera because I'm horrible so I took this week for a vacation oh I feel like I got this all up in the nails and then that's gonna gross me out like in between the nail and my real oh the well, that'll be a project getting that out. Um, because i just been killing myself at work lately. It's been really, really, really a big PIA with all the surgeries and stuff being canceled and rescheduled and not rescheduling and making lists and tearing the cases on which ones are more important and which ones the hospital are, is going to allow and which one isn't and I needed some time for myself so me and the hubby took the week off from work and we're just chilling doing homeschool sleeping watching tv trying to get a little peace and quiet it's kind of hard with kids in the house but we're, we're making do. So this is what my skin looks like with two pumps of the foundation. I think it looks, well the CC cream or whatever, I think it looks really really good. I'm going to be really ass backwards and read the description now. So it says, ditch your foundation color correcting cream to achieve a natural, natural looking complexion with a full coverage. So it does claim full coverage it's infused with collagen peptides niacinamide to plump hydrate and smooth the appearance of your skin and it has the spf of 30 i think this is a re really really good product especially for the summertime coming up when you just want a little sun sign i do have some trouble with acne and it seems to be doing a decent number on the skin where like I'm not looking to cancel out my face even with imperfections because I feel like it's just gonna look cakey there's no real hiding it there's just you know sometimes drawing attention to it if anything so um yeah I'm really happy with the way this looks so far so we're going to put this to the side and move into some of the other products. Now I do have the Flawless Brightening Concealer. And I'm going to try using just this because I really love this. This I've had for a little bit. And if I need more coverage, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating. So we'll start. So I just did two clicks and that's going to be definitely enough to start and then probably one more for this side. All right. Let's blend this in. So yeah, I just felt like since the whole year has been that you can't go out and do things me and my husband have avoided taking vacation because it's that whole like why take vacation we can't go anywhere kind of thing you have to stay home you know what's the point of taking time off from work but homegirl here was feeling run run down and I was like okay there's there's something to vacation time even if you're not going somewhere so we decided we're going to add a little bit more. We decided that um, we needed to take some time anyway just to kind of recharge our energy for work because we've just been killing ourselves between homeschooling the children and going to work I go in half the week and then I'm working from home the other half of the week and then just just life man I think that's enough I'm not gonna put too much makeup on and if I was doing like 
just quick out the door this is what I would do anyway so I think it looks pretty pretty good if you're curious how my under eye looks you can still see a little darkness but it's not that bad I don't think so we're just gonna leave it like this yeah so we've just been chilling in the house because it's been crazy like going to work or even being home with and working and then you know, constantly being on the phone, constantly doing this, just the pressure of still performing your regular job, especially where I feel like my employer, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are feeling like this, like your employer just thinks that you don't take work seriously enough when you're working from home. So you almost have to like prove yourself and work harder, which is ridiculous. So we're going to go into the contour palette and I'm going to go into both these two shades right here on the top. Yeah, so I feel like sometimes I have to like prove myself more than I normally would in the office. And then even in the office, it's just been insanity. And my husband's kind he's working from home mostly, but he's kind of been feeling the same like just so much pressure to get everything done and you tend to like work outside of your normal work hours when you're doing that and and then to top it off you know we gotta manage the kids schoolwork and there's three of them the oldest is a lot more mature but I mean you still gotta check because these kids be trying to like minimize their zoom classes and trying to go on youtube or trying to you know turn their camera off during class and whatever my daughter's good thank the lord but i have some friends that dealing with true nightmares with that so it's like you know i still just monitor her to just make sure because you just never know. You can't always assume your kid is the, you know, perfect angel all the time. So monitoring that and then keeping up with the little ones homeschooling. Making sure they're getting all their stuff in. We're doing Excella. So I don't know how many of you guys out there are doing homeschooling. But this is our first time. And we did start the year with the public school remote learning but it just was not a good situation for us my son had a couple outbursts and he was not doing great and yeah so we just decided for our family it was going to be better for us to just take him out of school and do homeschooling and if we were going to do that for him and he's a first grader, we just felt like just it would be easier to do the kindergartner as well. So we pulled them both out of school. Kindergartner, kindergarten is not uh, mandatory in Massachusetts, but we don't we just feel like it's a good idea to still send your kids to kindergarten because it prepares them for first grade but obviously um the public education system is not going to monitor us as much with her but we still purchased the cellist and we're pretty much doing the same thing with her that we're doing with him obviously she has her own account and her own work but like we give her a full school day as well so it's just a lot it's just a lot to make sure you're getting everything for five different people that everybody needs so three kids two adults and then I have the two dogs it's just balance 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 so I have a bunch of blushes here I have the soft cream um, blush palette from elf which I really love I tend to go towards this one a lot and sometimes this one in the spring and even this one I tend not to use this one so much because it's very light but we have that and then the ones that I use obviously are the new um, putty blushes that come in these little pots I've been trying to find the bold version of this if anybody knows 
where you can pick it up <laughs> let me know because i feel like i could never find it i can never find that but i have two shades of this i have caribbean i don't know what this is something caribbean maybe it's just caribbean and then i have bali i think i'm leaning towards bali it's like a terracotta color and then this one is caribbean i'm gonna swatch them see what i mean that's like the terracotta one and then this is the berry one which has like a little bit of a red to it <sighs> i'm gonna lean towards the um bali shade which is the one that has a brown base because i don't have that many options for eyeshadow for elf so i think just to be on the safe side we're gonna stick with that one and i'm just putting my oh look it i didn't even realize this is the elf brush this is the precision um stippling brush i think that's what it's called airbrush stipple and we're gonna put this on the cheek i didn't even need the powder bronzer from wet and wild because that did such a good job that little contour palette and this brush is just i feel like sometimes i want to order a second one because i like it so much but then i have to tell myself like i already have too many things so stop buying shit but it's so cheap too it's like five dollars it's like everything else five dollar five dollar five dollar and then you end up with like a hundred dollar basket and you're like how the hell did i do that everything is so cheap here like going to target i like this shade too because i can put it all over my face i don't feel like i'm making myself look crazy I also have the e.l.f. halo powder, but I'm not going to set anything. I took it out just in case I wanted to set my under eye if I put the concealer, but I just kept it with the brightener um, concealer, and I don't put that much. I know some people would probably layer this bad boy up till they were like full coverage, but I don't always feel the need to do that. I don't think anybody needs to do that all the time, so this is how I would wear it, and this is how it looks. Just... In case any of you guys have some opinion out there so i also have these little duos that they came out with i have pomegranate white peach and spiced apple i don't feel like i need to put anything on top of this again like i know some people want to set everything with powder but honestly it doesn't feel sticky that i feel like i have to set anything um these are great though by the way i've even used these as like a whole monochromatic look like you could do this cheek highlighter and then do like eyeshadow you know in the crease and then put this all over the lid and you pretty much have your whole face in this so if you were like traveling and you don't want to like take a bunch of stuff with you you could grab like something like this um, these I actually like better than the little eyeshadows, but we are going to use the eyeshadows. I have two that I've kept. This is pumpkin pie, and then I have the hot jalapeno. I'm going to use this one because I also have an oldie, but a goodie. This is the Island Breeze Aqua Beauty Palette, and this is what she looks like, and she's very loved. I'm obsessed with most of the shades in here. This one right here, I don't always use much. Or um, like the brown shade. Because it just looks like my skin. But we're going to go in with the pumpkin pie for like the browns. And then I'm going to take this green. It is the most stunning green shade. And before we actually go in with that... I'm going to go in with my putty primer. So if you've watched me for a little bit, you know I love this stuff. My eyelids are so crazy oily and I just have the worst time with keeping eyeshadow on my lids. A lot of people did not like this stuff because it's so dry and like stiff and you have to work super fast. But I don't mind 
that because the like what it does is so good so you just put it on real quick I find with my fingers the best because it uses the warmth of my finger to kind of stay a little soft and blendable if you go in with a brush you're gonna have a really tough time getting this primer on and we're gonna go into the little pumpkin palette and I'm gonna go into that first caramel like shade and then we'll eventually darken up with this matte here i think i'm gonna do like a little halo eye just decided that right this second so yeah, I don't ever hear anybody talk about this aqua palette, but I really enjoy it. Especially with everybody in getting into cream products. I mean, and I I smelled that palette before I started filming this cuz it's so friggin' old, but it's still good, so <laughs> But I'm pretty sure the last time I was on their website, they still carried it. Because I was curious. And then for the inner corner, I'm actually going to take this like silvery shade on the bottom. I know that doesn't seem like it would go, but... I like it and I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to put a little bit of highlight on because I don't have any and I just realized. You know what? We're going to get creative. I have some of these little elf glitter things. Um... I have Dirty Martini, Purple, Rain, and Mermaid Shimmer. These two are like the glitter ones. I don't know if this is a glitter one or those metallic, but this one's my favorite one. Um, the Dirty Martini. And I'm actually going to put that over the center just a little. Because I'm feeling a little extra right now. Yeah, that's such a pretty like olive color. I've worn this one all over the lid to work before by itself with no eye primer. And I will tell you, it lasted all day long on my oily lids. And I was shocked. Yeah, that looks so pretty and smooth. Very pleased with that. I think that was a good decision. So we're going to use the highlight from the spice apple which is this one right here and these are pretty they look more natural than blinding I have two of the brow pencils. I have the precise brow pencil and then I have the instant brow, instant lift brow pencil. I'm going to use the instant lift one and I have this one in the shade deep brown and see my brows have a very thick shape to it but there's so many like bald spots I don't even know what that's from. I like this brow pencil because it's creamy and smooth to get on and it's pigmented and look at that right away Whew, it's a difference and then the last step is going to be the lips and mascara but i am gonna do the mascara super quick because this is not an elf mascara 
thebomb.com right here the one and only miss elf sheer slick and golden pear that's what i'm talking about this girl be living in my bag it's the perfect color on me and it's so comfortable mmm how you like my now so yeah guys I really really like the CC cream I'm happy that they sent it to me and I would have felt really really silly if I had never tried this I think the color looks fantastic which is what I'm most surprised about because I really anticipated some kind of gray cast to my skin it looks gorgeous it looks natural on my skin it does provide a good enough coverage without it being full full crazy coverage which i like and yeah i'm super happy if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can come back and hang out with me some more and until next time thank you guys love you bye